Let us worship. We shall sing our processional hymn number 50. Presbyterian hymn number 50. One to three.
shall you be seated. Praise his name.
shall we rise for the bridal march?
rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let all people know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Amen. Dearly beloved, on behalf of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Mount Zion Congregation in Fairfield, I would like to welcome all of you to this wonderful wedding ceremony that we are observing today between our brother Kofi Ansa and our sister Abigail Obeng. On this special day again, we are blessed to have very important ministers in our midst. To begin with is Reverend Dr. William Ofosu Ado, the former Presbyterian chairperson of the Brown Hanford region, and currently the district minister of New York. Please, Papa, you are welcome. <clears throat> and again, too, we are blessed and privileged to have the clerk of the presbytery, Reverend Frank Addo, in our midst as well. Papa Frank, you are welcome. And our former district minister in Ohio, Illinois district, and the past minister in charge of Calvary Congregation Columbus, Reverend Christian Bequin Appenty, in our midst too. <laughs> Currently, Papa is the minister in charge of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana in Atlanta, Georgia. Papa, you are welcome. And again, too, we have Reverend Yao Edu Jemfi also in our midst. I think most of us know Papa Edu Jemfi. <laughs> Papa, you are welcome as well. And I would like to show a great gratitude to Pastor Kate Mark and the husband and the whole family of Trinity Presbyterian Church where we are having this wedding. Please clap for them. <laughs> Pastor, please, can you give us a wave? And all other friends, loved ones who are here to support this marriage, we know that the good Lord will be with us through all this service. Amen. Please, we shall pray. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful Father, we, your unworthy children, praise you for all the bounty of your providence and for all the gifts of your grace. Especially at this time, we thank you for the institution of marriage, which you have ordained to guide, to hallow, and to perfect the sacred gift of love. We thank you for the joy which these, your servants, Kofi and Abigail, have found in each other, and for the love and trust in which they enter this holy estate. And since without your help, we cannot do anything as we ought, we pray that as you have brought them together by your providence, you will enrich them with your grace, that they may enter into the marriage covenant in your sight, and truly keep the vows they are about to make through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will sing a hymn to God be the glory. Shall 
why we have stand the place. Be the glory. Take our seat. On this wonderful occasion, let us please be quiet and hear this wonderful, well crafted exhortation by the President of Ghana for our dear brother Kofi and Ya as. They bring their marriage before the altar for them to be blessed by God. Marriage reveals the loving nature and wise purpose of God. He made man and woman in his own image so that the love and community of his nature are reflected in the human family. He brings a man and a woman together in a such a way that forever after each complete man Forever after, each complements the other. Christian marriage is an image of the union of church and his, of the union of Christ and his church. Through his cross, our broken relationship with God and with one another are forgiven and healed, and we are reconciled. In Christian marriage, the Holy Spirit seals the covenant between man and woman and lifts them up into the love, joy, and peace of God. Hear also what the scripture says concerning the duties of husband and wife. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. This is a great mystery. And I take it to mean Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 to 33. Thus, the scripture exhorts both husband and wife to respect and love each other. You are not your own. You were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Amen.
scripture reading. Onyame Asunge and Kamunina. Peace be with you all. Our scripture reading shall be taken from Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 25. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 25. Let's hear the word of God. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the bears in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock and the birds in the sky and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. And then the Lord God made a woman from the rib. He, and the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and, and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. Here ends our reading. We shall sing our English hymn number Brethren, uh, what a privilege to celebrate with Kofi and yeah, uh, this very special occasion. And 
I'm excited to be part of this arrangement, and I want to thank God so much. We all look so beautiful this afternoon, and particularly Kofi and Ya, God richly bless you. I want to place on record my gratitude to the minister, the Reverend Felix, for accepting us to be the, the company of the clergy of ministers, for us to be part of this arrangement. So, Papa, we are so grateful to you and your session. I was highly impressed with this young orchestra as they sang. I hear that they have put this together and they have worked tirelessly to grace this occasion. Thank you so much for this. And I will also want to thank the Trinity Presbyterian Congregation for this beautiful sanctuary and opening it up for us to have this wedding. We are very pleased and we are so grateful. Papa Obi and Papa Ansanto, congratulations. If it happens this way, where you have your son and your daughter decide that uh, getting married and the company of the family come along with them, it is really beautiful and it's sad. Captain of Israel's and God all who seek the land above beneath the shadow by the cloud of thy protection, our strength, thy grace, our room, thy one, our end. Listen to you speak to us. This very day, it is not about any of us, it is about you, Jesus. And thank you for what you have done in the life of Kofi and Ya. As you, as we celebrate with them, and you'll be stretching forth your hand to bless their marriage, may this marriage be pleasing in your sight. Now, Lord, come speak to us because we are here we are hearing as you speak thank you in Jesus name amen. amen i'm adding a portion of scripture to what is already been read and i'm reading from proverbs 18:22 he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord so kofi you are blessed he who finds a wife finds a good thing and he obtains favor from the Lord. Let me acknowledge that the Ansoto's family is being a family to me. And the kind of relationship we have, it's so close. The Franca J's family and the Ansoto's family 
are so close together it's a beautiful relationship and I identify with this family for quite a long time. I remember Kofi looking at me one day and he says, Uncle, when I'm married, I want you to be part of my marriage. And that is why we are here to also celebrate with Kofi. So I want to congratulate this family and congratulate you for what the Lord is doing today. Marriage is divine. And it comes with God's favor. Marriage is divine. And it comes with God's favor. Marriage, because it is divine, the very person you choose as a marriage companion is so important that determines the success, will also determine the success of the person or the marriage. Because marriage involves human, the human nature will by all means be exhibited in the marriage, no matter how beautiful it will look like. Because marriage is human, whatever happens, the human aspect will be exhibited in the marriage. The success of the marriage, therefore, will depend upon the philosophy, the divine philosophy, that you hold and the foundation that you have laid and the marital discipline that you observe. So if your philosophy is wrong, by all means your marriage will be wrong. If you have not laid a solid foundation, it cannot. What I've learned from experience is that I've learned that all women, if you are not very comfortable with it, their great grandmother is if. And all men, their great 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 grandfather is Adam. It was if when, it may not be uh, uh, like that in every culture, but I know that with Ghanaians, when Eve saw that it was good for food, it was pleasing to the eyes and it was to make one wise. Eve decided to eat the fruit that is not supposed to eat because it was pleasing. It was good for food, pleasing to the eyes. And I've noticed that among Ghanaian women, the things that are good for the eyes, they like. Anna. Anna me wa. Adi eye ni fe. Ne yo honam akono and to make one accepted and be loved and to look special. That was what Eve did. And it was pleasing to the eyes. It was good for food. And it was to make her wise. So she decided. And all men too have the trace of Adam. And when Adam, God had formed the man and brought the, the, formed the woman out of the rib of Adam and brought the woman to Adam, Straight away, Adam will not even say, God, thank you. He said, this is the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. You shall be called woman because you're taken out of man. Hey, I'm sorry on man term because he has fallen in love. When a man falls in love, sometimes church service will be late. The person will be late because he's falling in love. Adam saw the woman as something, because something went through his body. Bibi Fanu. Hello? So that is our human nature. And I have learned that in spite of all that, marriage is ordained by God. It was God's design. And therefore, marriage is divinely ordained. If you want the marriage to be successful, you must go back to the creator of the marriage, the one that instituted it. Marriage is for ministry, and marriage is a mission. Marriage is ordained by God. Marriage is a ministry. Marriage is a mission, and marriage must leave a legacy. If we will observe this as so important, we trust in that the marriage will be successful. Marriage is designed to reflect the glory of God 
marriage. Marriage is designed to be a support system that a woman was created, man was alone in the garden, and the Bible says that it was not good for man to be alone. So therefore, I will make a help meet for you. So the woman comes to complement the man, and the woman becomes a support system for the man, and the man also supports the woman. So marriage is for support. Marriage is to satisfy us emotionally and for peace and harmony. Sometimes when married people, you are confused and you feel too bad. At work, people have chastised you, everything goes bad. You come home and your wife gives you a kiss and he embraces you. You get into the bedroom and you come back. You are fine. Amen. Hello? Hi. You are fine, Anna. <laughs> and therefore, peace begins to descend in the home. That is why traditionally people will tell you that when you have a wife, your heart is always at rest. Your heart is at rest. So emotionally, marriage was also designed. They were naked and they were not ashamed. That was what God said. They were naked. I've also noticed that marriage is also for procreation. So that for family continuity. Without marriage, family cannot continue. So I do not mind whichever position you hold. Marriage is meant for procreation also. It is not everybody that will have a baby. They can, they can adopt, we can take care. But it is also designed so that continuity of the family will also be there. So if, if you decide to do away with marriage, the human race will be extinct. Hallelujah. So marriage is for procreation. Marriage is designed for nurturing of children. Because the, 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 the society we are seeing is the kind of children we have brought up. Where they are killing, where they are doing all terrible things, they saw it from their home. And they read it from our side. So the home is supposed to nurture children. I am praying, the Bible says, train up the child the way he should go. And when he grows, he will never depart out of it. He will never depart of it. Sometimes we want to wait, and we think that the children have all right, and they call it human right. The one who is the creator has a right. You, a steward, you have only a privilege. It is not a right. I am praying. Because marriage is also designed to impact generation. Whatever you've heard from me and learned from me, make it available to faithful people that will also be able to teach others also. Whatever the children will watch, whatever the children will see, they will also be able to transmit it. Somebody, because marriage is human, human nature comes in. I don't know where this person picked his scripture, but he said, when God created the heaven and earth, he rested. I don't know where he picked the scripture from. When God made the sea and the earth, he rested. When God made the fishes and all that, he rested. But he said that since God made woman, neither man nor woman, God has ever rested. <laughs> when he made man, he rested. But when he brought woman, neither God nor man has ever rested. I don't know where he picked his scripture from, but it is true that we are human. And therefore we will exhibit human nature will come. But if the marriage is divine, then we'll go back to him and God will hold us together. For me, women are what? The, one of the most beautiful creatures ever made. Beautiful creature. Because in the case of, they made you. In the case of the woman, they operated and did a special operation to bring the woman. I want to clap for the women. You are perfectly and well designed. You are perfectly and well designed. Yes. Therefore, you need to hold the right divine philosophy. The foundation of marriage is character. The nature of marriage is service. The motive of marriage is love. The measure of marriage is sacrifice. The tool of marriage is the word of God. The authority of marriage is submission. 
The harmony in marriage is communication. The model of marriage is Jesus Christ. Period. Period. The foundation of marriage is character. If you don't have character, your marriage will fail. But I believe that. And therefore, marriage is also not for children. Marriage is for the adults. Amen. Amen. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I grew up, I've, I've forgotten, I've put aside childish ways. So sometimes when people get into marriage and they are fighting, they must go and ask their mothers and fathers. They have fought before, but they are in the marriage. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We to submitting to one another. And the man must love the woman as Jesus loved the church and gave himself for him. I had a story of a preacher one day. He was going, he was preparing to go and preach. I like this illustration. The man was getting real, also, also for the anointing was upon the pastor. He was preparing to go and preach. And his daughter, very young, about some eight, nine year old, was disturbing the father. And so the father decided that in his library was, was the world map. So he picked the world map, tore it into pieces. And he gave it to the girl to go and put it together. He knew that by the time the girl began to assemble the world map, he would have had time to, he would have had time to prepare his, his sermon and get ready. Ah, the girl sat quietly in that room where his father had done that and put the map before her. Within the shortest possible time, he put the map together and went to the room and said, Daddy, I have finished. Ah, the the father looked at the world map and everything has been put together right. She looked at her daughter, where did you learn geography? Where did you do, how can man you did that? The girl smiled and he says, daddy at the back of the map is Jesus Christ. So when I put Jesus together, I put the world together. Without Jesus, the world can never be put together. The world can never be put together. Once Jesus becomes central in this marriage, I tell you, no matter what happened, the marriage will survive. They survive. And therefore, we need to go to him day by day. And as we do that, if Jesus is central, if God is central in this marriage, the marriage will always be put together. Abigail, in marriage, it is, please forgive me. I did not intentionally do it. Thank you. Kofi can also say it. If we will say this regularly to one another, oh, you felt hurt. I didn't intentionally do it. My dear, I am sorry. He says, okay, then you say, thank you. If you will practice this diligently, and all of us will practice it diligently, marriages will work. But when one gets high, the red light is on. Another one also switch on the red light. There will be fight. There will be confusion. Lovers now becomes enemies, and they take knives and want to kill where they not lovers. Just as we work on all things, we work on ac academic careers. We work at our, so hard at our work to get promotion. We work so hard with tirelessness. Kofi doctor goes to work, he works so hard, Abigail, an engineer. What we do normally do is that we do not work on the marriage and we think the marriage should work. Marriage will not work like that. We work on it. We work on it. And as we do that, Marriage is a legacy. Be mindful of the crowd of witnesses today. I have come all the way from New York. Today, the crowd of witnesses that are witnessing this, all our hope that this marriage will work. 
Since we're surrounded by so great a crowd of witness, let us lay aside every sin and weigh that climb so closely. Let us look unto Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of God Almighty. And therefore, Kofi, the cloud of witnesses that are here, our joy is that this marriage will last. That is when you are giving glory to God, and we can also be thankful for this beautiful relationship. There are cloud of witnesses. Be mindful of the children that God will bring. If you decide that you are going to have children, the children has not decided that they want to come. It is your joy that will bring the children. So when you enjoy and you bring the children, the children want to see their father and their mother together. They want to see them together. Now this person says that, oh, I, I cannot stay in the marriage. First marriage, second marriage, third marriage. And people celebrate about this. No. It is meant to be an everlasting relationship. Amen. It is meant to be an everlasting relationship. It is meant to be that. Be mindful of eternal accountability. One day all that we have done, the Bible says as we prepare the woman, as you walk with Abigail over the years, Abigail will be aging, Kofi will be aging. Some years back I was not like this. We gradually be aging. But when you are old and the faces have become so wrinkled and you can look at the face of Abigail and can plant a kiss on her lips, this is marriage. This is marriage. This is marriage. This is marriage. When you've nurtured her and you are presenting her without blemish before that most high God, one day the king of kings will sit down and all of us will be assembled before his presence. And when we assemble, we will give account of each other's stewardship. I pray. The last thing I wanted, I had a testimony of when, when the Europeans launched the first airline. A rich man was traveling, who is a Christian, traveled in that plane. And he had traveled in the first class. So they were serving all kinds of dishes. They serve alcoholic drinks, strong drink. They came to the man, they said, drink. He says, I do not take alcohol. Why? They thought that they were serving him to appreciate. They came the next time, he says, I do not take alcohol. Strong drinks. I do not take it. The Elstest felt so bad, he went and discussed it with the top person. Why would this man turn our offer down? They came to him again, and this time he said, I am a Christian. I do not do that. But he says, some Christians do that. He says, I am a Christian. I belong to Jesus. When I keep on drinking, they say, he, then he said that, go and give the drink to the pilot. Then the man said, the pilot, how can the pilot drink? Because he, he's on duty, he cannot drink. And he says, I'm always on duty for Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm always on duty for Jesus Christ. Kofi, and I, I, yeah, you need to be on duty. Your testimony matters. There are so many people that think that we cannot marry. But Kofi and Aya will set an example for a generation. For some people to know that it is possible that we can marry and stay because you are always on duty. May you be on duty forever for Jesus Christ and radiate the personality of him. And it is him alone. It is him alone that will accompany you in the marriage. God richly bless you. Amen. Shall we bow down our heads in prayer? Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy word, 
To thy gracious care, we commend Kofi and Ya as a journey into marriage because it was ordained by you. It is a ministry to serve one another, and it is a mission that others will also look at this marriage and love you and dedicate their lives to you. May you accompany them, may you envelop them in your love. And may you stand behind them, the fearful warrior. And may this marriage be successful. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. We want to recite our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father. shall sing a hymn, there shall be showers of blessings. God bless you so much for that wonderful word. 
we appreciate you in our midst. Now, to Kofi Ansa and Abigail Obin, have you come here in the presence of these witnesses? Congregation, freely to give yourselves to each other in marriage. We have. Please, if so, say we have. We have. We have. Please, can you get one mic to her yeah. eh, so that she also supports okay. Abigail? So we didn't hear Abby's voice, so we will take it again. Again, Kofi Ansa and Abigail Obey, have you come here in the presence of these witnesses? This congregation freely to give yourselves to each other in marriage. If so, then say we have. We, we have. have. Oh, clap for them. Clap for them. Yes. Now we would like to know from the bride's family, the one who is giving Abigail being to be married to Kofi and Sam. Please, you will stand. Let us know your full name, your position in the family of Abigail. Please, who? Help him with a mic, please. Should I go? Yeah, you can help. My name is Kwame Asama. I am the senior brother of Thank you so much. God bless you. Please, we thank you so much. Clap for him. Mr. Obi and the family, we thank you so much. Please, you may be seated. Now, Kofi and Abigail, you are going to take vows. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you ready? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Yes. Good. In the token, in the token of the covenant in which you are about to enter, will you give each other the right hand of fellowship and face each other right hand to right hand? Right hand. Very good. Very good. This is the day. Please give Mr. Ansa mic for me. Auntie Elena, I want my new server too. Please give us that song.
I now charge you both as you shall answer to God. Do you, Kofi Ansa and Abigail Ben, solemnly declare that you have been married in accordance with customary law? If you say yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now the mic to Kofi and Sir. Kofi, you are going to another level again. <laughs> Do you, Kofi and Sir, take this woman, Abigail Obey, to be your wedded wife and to do in the presence of God? And before this congregation promise and covenant to be to her a loving, faithful, and dutiful husband until God separates you by death. If yes, say I do. Yes, I 1000% do. Yes. Thank you, Kofi Ansa. Now to Abigail. Do you, Abigail Obey, take this man, Kofi Ansa, to be your wedded husband and to do in the presence of God and before this congregation promise and covenant? To be to him a loving, faithful, and dutiful wife, until God shall separate you by death. If yes, say I do. Yes, I do. Uh -oh. yes. Yes. <laughs> we thank you, Kofi and Abigail. Please, shall we now have the rings that we are going to use to seal this marriage? The girl ring? Now, before they put on the rings, I have the privilege to have the Reverend Frank Adu, the clerk of the presbytery, to pray and sanctify these rings before they put them on. Please, Papa Frank. Beloved, let's pray. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you honor for this great thing we are witnessing. We thank you for the journey your children are embarking on today. Father, as we lift these rings before you, we pray for sanctification. Father, sanctify these rings in the name of Christ Jesus. Let them be rings that have gone through sanctification. We take them from ordinary use and we bless them with the blessing of the Almighty that they will become a holy material on holy fingers to take your children through this as they see them renew their love always father as they see them renew their love let this be a token of your presence in the marriage so that your manifest presence will go with them always. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I come against any storm that will exalt itself against the marriage, even as they put them on.
carry them through. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Papa Clark. We thank you. Now, Kofi and Sang, please take the ring. And hold her hand. Yeah, allow it to be on. Kofi, you say this after me. Say by this sign. By this sign, I Kofi Ansa. I Kofi Ansa. Do take you. Do take you. Abigail Obeng. Abigail Obeng. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death separate us. Till death separates us. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now to Abigail. Abigail Bing, please you say this after me. By this sign. By this sign. Can you hear her? No. Uh, no. 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 By this sign. By this sign. I, Abigail Obing. I, Abigail Obing. Do take you. Do take you. Kofi and son. Kofi to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day. From this day. Forward for better for worse. Forward for better for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death separate us. Till death separate us. Amen. Yeah, yeah baby. Now hold hands, right hand to right hand. Since you have covenanted to live together in holy matrimony and have now declared the same before God and this congregation and have given and pledged mutual love and loyalty, I, Reverend Felix Menu Brimpong, as an ordained minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. You are going to unveil and kiss the bride. So, Kofi now. So coffee, we are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I would like to call all the ministers here to join me as we bless this marriage. Please, Papa Nom, please join me. Yeah, you just give me the first. Don't sing far, okay? Go on, go on. for them as well. of his grace upon you that you may please him and live together in his love unto your life's end through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you ministers. I will help you. praying please most holy and blessed God who set us in our families we humbly pray your blessing upon this husband Mr. Kofi Ansa and wife Mrs. Abigail Ansa oh, yes. mercifully supply all their needs spare them long life to each other Grant that ever seeking each other's good, they may dwell together in perfect love and holy peace. Keep them faithfully, that they may be a blessing and comfort to one another, and find in their love a joy which time cannot lessen or destroy. Ever loving God, mighty to save, defend them from all harm and amid all changes of this mortal life. May they be one in Christ. Grant that no adversity may chill their mutual love or destroy their faith, nor any prosperity make them careless of each other or unmindful of you. Above all, enrich them with wisdom and power from on high, that in the discipline and sympathies of the whole, they may be made sufficient for every duty and fit for all higher service so that finally, having glorified you on earth and finished their course, they may come to that heavenly home where love is made perfect 
in Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord, we beseech you, and accept us in Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. O Lord, bless the families linked to this marriage and draw them together in love and fe fellowship in the days to come. Help them to strengthen this union all times. And may their members now join together, becoming a blessing to their families. This we ask you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now you may change the place. He is now your Mr. Wright. God bless you so much. You may be seated. Amen. It's time for signing of certificates. So the couple, the new couple, will go to sign their certificates, and we will have an offer tree. Echoes of His Word will lead us in an offer tree time. So, as they are going to sign the certificate, we will need witnesses from each family to go with us, please. Thank you.
Mrs. Sansa, they are going to dance in. Let's be upstanding as we welcome them again.
living God. Amen. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our Heavenly Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you and we magnify your name. For you are a God among all gods. And today we say thank you for the beautiful thing that you have done. I know the angels are rejoicing, oh God, because you have done it again. Father, we commit into your hands our offerings and we ask you to sanctify it. Father, we purify it with your precious blood. And we ask you, oh God, that bless the hands that gave this offering. Father, wherever it's going, whatever it will be used for, we ask you to sanctify it and bless them abundantly. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, with Anna, I would like to call on Mama Brimpon to come forward and present the marriage certificate to all oh, clap for her, clap for her. Abigail and Kofi, please be on your feet. Abby, you can step forward now. This is your marriage certificate with the alliances. God bless you. God bless your marriage. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. Oh, clap, 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 clap. Clap unto the Lord. We thank you so much. We thank everybody. We will now take the announcement. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. We would like to welcome all of you and thank you for coming to grace such an occasion. Uh, we say thank you very much. May God bless all of you for doing this. And it's a prayer that as you go back to your destinations, may the Lord God grant you traveling mercies and take you there safely. Amen. So the party continues after this place uh, with the reception. Um, the time will be 4 p.m. to um, 9 p.m. So let's take notes. The venue for the reception is 411 uh, Vessel Drive, Fairfield, Ohio. Uh, the zip code is 45014. It's on a church platform, so uh, please take note. Uh, this is a Fairfield Community Art Center. So uh, if you ask any of the ushers, they can direct you to that place. Then tomorrow will be a Thanksgiving service for uh, our um, newly wedded couple at Mount Zion Congregation in Fairfield. Uh, the address is 5966 uh, Boymel Drive, uh, Fairfield, Ohio as well. Uh, service time is 10 a.m., so please let's take note. Uh, once again, we would like to congratulate our newly wedded daughter and missus Kofi Ansa. God bless you all. Thank you. We will sing our closing hymn, hymn number 317. Jesus, come and live with me. Leave me not. Stay with me. Come, O oh Lord my truest friend, make me yours forevermore.
he is presenting. Gracious unto you and make his face shine upon you. 